to the human heart. To the human heart. Mmm, it's good. Mm. So, Minnie, tell me about yourself. I can't. What? You can't tell me about yourself? No, I really can't. Well, tell me something. Anything. Something to just, where I can get to know you. Well, I'm single, I live alone, and I work for the museum. That's all there is? That's it? Well, that's not much to go on, is it? Tell me something else. I'll tell you. Okay? Let's see now. You weren't born here. You were born up north. Am I right? I'm right. Yeah. Somewhere between New York and Wisconsin. Near Canada. And both your parents are still alive. How about that? Well, that's a dumb thing to say. What is? I mean, my father is dead. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, I, didn't I, don't, I don't mean it's your fault. I mean, when you're guessing, it's a dumb thing to say. Actually, it was very perceptive. Are you a clairvoyant or anything? You're being funny. Are you having me on? No, no, no I was born in New York, in Niagara Falls. In New York? In the falls? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in New York, near the falls. Oh, you're terrific, do you know that? You have a terrific sense of humour. I bet you're very romantically inclined. True? Yes, it's true. I knew it. I knew it. I'd say you do not take romance lightly. I'd say once you meet a guy and fall in love, it's for keeps. Am I right? Mm. Right, now that I messed that one up, what are we going to drink to? We have to drink to something. Zermo, let's drink to happiness. Let's drink to you and your happiness. <sighs> You're such a lovely person, you know that? I mean, why did you call me? What made you call me? When you called me? Like, why? Listen. Don't answer that. I understand. You know we don't get out much. Do you know that? I'm actually scared of women. I thought you would have been scared of men also. I don't know what to say to them. Women. I say hello. Hello, how are you? I say anything that comes to mind. I don't really say anything. I'm a loner. I like being alone. My interests are in Keats and Shelley and Shakespeare, opera, poetry, music. Do you know I've been reading since I was 12 years of age? I mean, I wear glasses now I read so much. That's funny, I would have sworn you're a businessman. Ah, I hate business. Which is funny because I'm a rich man. But I hate making money. It drives me crazy. You know, I wake up in the morning and I say to myself, Hey, Zelmo, Zelmo, where are you going to do? What are you going to do with all your money? <sighs> I fucked that up. Oh, bollocks. To the human heart. To the human heart. Mmm, it's good. So, Minnie, tell me about yourself. I can't. What, you can't tell me about yourself? No, I really can't. Well, tell me something. Anything. Something where I can, you know, get to know you. Well, I'm single. I live alone and I work for the museum. That's it? That's all there is? Well, tell me something else. Let me tell you. Okay? Let's see now. You weren't born here. You were born up north. Am I right? I'm right. Somewhere between New York and Wisconsin. Near Canada. And both your parents are still alive. How's that? Well, that's a dumb thing to say. Boy. Well, I mean, 
father is dead. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I didn't know. I, d I don't mean it's your fault. I mean, when you're guessing, it's a dumb thing to say. Actually, it was very perceptive. Are you a clairvoyant or anything? You're a bit funny. Are no, you having me on? No, no. I was born in New York, in Niagara Falls. You were born in Niagara Falls. In the falls. No, I, I was born <laughs> in New York, near the falls. <sighs> You're terrific. You have a terrific sense of humor. You're so lovely. I bet you're romantically inclined. True? Yes, it's true. I knew it. I knew it. I said to myself, once you get involved with a guy, it's for keeps. Am I right? Yes, you're absolutely right, Simon. Right, well, now that I messed that up, what are we going to drink to? Let's drink to something. Simon, let's drink to happiness. Let's drink to you and your happiness. Lovely person, do you know that? So, why did you call me? Like, when you called me, why? Don't answer that. I'm sorry. I understand. Do you know I don't get out much? Do you know that? I'm actually scared of women. I thought you'd be scared of men also. You know? I don't know what to say to them. Women. I say hello. I say, hello, how are you? I say anything that comes to mind. I say nothing. I'm a loner. I like to be alone. My interests are in Keats, Shelley, Shakespeare. I like opera, poetry, music. You know I've been reading since I was 12 years of age. Seriously. I mean, I have to get glasses I read so much. Sworn you're a businessman. Nah, I hate business. I hate making money, which is funny because I'm a very rich man. You know, I wake up in the morning and I say to myself, Hey, Zelmo, Zelmo, what are you going to do with all your money? Maybe you'll give it to charity or give it to friends. Maybe you'll buy a bigger house or take a holiday. For what? I don't know. But I go on. I go on. Zelmo, I'm all confused. Do you know you make me so confused? I can't think straight when you're around. You know I'm a really lonely man. Do you know that? I mean, if I could just meet somebody. Somebody with your quality, your class. Somebody that if I took their hands, they wouldn't pull it away from me. Zemo, let's just order because it's really very neat. Your hands. They're so delicate. So sensitive. Do you know I can tell what you're thinking just by the flick of your fingers? Do you know that? Do you know what my trouble is? Do you know what my trouble is? I've got hair all down my back and all down my front and my arms. But I've none on my legs. My legs are completely smooth. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I embarrassed you. I didn't mean no, to. No, no, I mean... I'm sorry. It's okay, Zemo. It's okay. Listen. I'm going to have the beef piccata. How can I not just get this feeling across to you? How can I just get you to feel what I'm feeling? It's so hard. It is very hard. Look, I'm not, I'm not just saying this, but my wife is dead, so I'm not, yes, she's, we're not Zemo, divorced. I don't want to hurt you. I made you feel uneasy, didn't I? No, Zemo. I just want you to know that I have no personal interest in you. And I just wanted to have lunch. Look, I think we should go. I'm terribly sorry. Hey, wait, wait there! Wait there, just one second! Just one second! I'll be, I'll be there in one second! Sorry, can I just pay the bill there? Cash? Cash okay? Just wait, wait, don't you walk out on me! Don't walk out! Wait! <laughs> 